Good morning and welcome to the ADS Securities Markets Update. The US dollar continued to decline across the board since Friday and even on Monday or the beginning of the week following more and more economic releases from the US, which shows that the economy is slowing down further and contrary to the market estimates, leading to a significant decline in the speculations for a Fed rate hike or the Fed or the rate hike by the Federal Reserve in June's meeting. On Friday, the durable goods came in or with a disappointment despite that it increased by 4%, including the defense and the aircraft order. However, the core durable goods orders again uh, posted uh, the sixth monthly decline in a row which is not seen since 2008 back in 2012 when the Federal Reserve also when uh, when the orders fell for five months in a row the Fed has to spark QE3 moreover the cap goods or non-defense uh, excluding also the aircraft also posted the seventh monthly decline in a row which is also not, not seen since 2012. Yesterday's uh, also in the US the flash services PMI eased back more than expected toward or declining toward 57.8 in April down from 59.2 in March while it had been anticipated also to decline slightly only toward 59.1. Moreover the Dallas Fed manufacturing activity index yesterday posted the fourth monthly decline in a row which is also not seen since 2000 also since 2012 even 2000 2011 and 2010 when the Federal Reserve again sparked QE on each time the index fell more than four months in a row. During the Asian session today, there was only one economic release from Japan. However, it came in with uh, a, a, a very uh, negative numbers. The year-over-year -year retail sales posted the biggest decline on the record, declining by 9.7% in March, comparing to another decline of 1.7 in February. And this is the third monthly decline in a row. In Australia, the, ba the Reserve Bank of Australia a chairman had a speech yes or during the Asian session. However, uh, he refused to offer any comment about the next or the next meeting decisions, leading to a slight recovery in the Aussie across the Board, but the Aussie dollar again uh, continued to rise towards 78.70 up from 78.35. As for the European session ahead, there are also a few economic figures will be released from the UK, which will be or was likely to have a major impact on uh, the market. But the main concern or the main focus will be on Q1 GDP, which is expected to grow by 0.5% in Q1 after growing by 0.6% in Q uh, in Q uh, or Q4 of last year, which would be the lowest uh, the lowest growth rate uh, since Q4 of 2013. Going forward, also to the U.S. session today, there uh, there are also a few economic figures will be released from the U.S. However, the main focus will be on two figures, which is the CB Consumer Confidence Index and the Richmond Manufacturing index and the consumer confidence index may rise toward 108.6 up from 101.3 in May which would be also the big or the highest level since almost two months the Richmond Fed manufacturing index also might rise toward minus two in April up from minus eight in March however it would be the second negative reading in a row Going back to also the technical analysis that we noted or uh, that we mentioned uh, last week or in our previous report, the dollar index continued to decline on the weekly a chart remains also negative, but we will be watching on 96.85 uh, 96 and 96.50s, which represent a very solid support, which remains solid since also March of this year. A break below that level would increase or would increase more chances for more, for more declines in the next a few sessions. But going forward also to the sterling dollar continued to rally again as noted in our also previous reports continues to trade within the same path that we was looking for but for now we're watching 1.5345 which is the possibility for a new short selling area which would uh, we believe that uh, where buyers or where sellers sorry are likely to appear it's 1.5345 and 151.86 which basically trading above that level right now it's at 52.34 but we will be waiting for 53.45 to start shorting ahead of the elections in addition to that all the euro uh, the euro also continued to rise further yesterday or uh, during last week and even yesterday we continue to show the more recovery signs however 1.10875 uh, remains a solid resistance but a break above that level it seems that we might see more and more uh, uh, but another another reversal another recovery toward 110 which should be watched very cl closely because it remains solid since also the uh, uh, the mid or mid uh, mid march of this year this is it for today you can follow us on our social media sites twitter facebook and youtube to get the latest economic releases reports and analysis Thank you for watching.